Howdy y'all. I was going to show you these really cool tailpieces this evening. These are what they call an Ottinger style tailpiece. And I have an antique, probably from the mid to late 30s, brass Ottinger. And I have a modern reproduction that has been improved a little bit, if you ask me. This is made by a guy from the UK named Lyndon Bespoke, and he owns Ottinger Co. And he hand makes each one of these tailpieces, and this one is actually not nickel plated, it's solid nickel silver. So there's no plating to wear off on these. If it gets scratched up, you can just buff them. No plating to come off whatsoever. And if you look, these things are very similar in dimensions. The the attention to detail that went into making this. And my biggest my biggest thing that I like about the bespoke one is the improved string loops at the end of the fingers instead of the non-symmetric little pegs that stick out. Now I will say this thing is pretty old and it's got some some play in the fingers and stuff but it still works pretty well but this one is very very well made there's absolutely no play in the fingers whatsoever but they they do move but there's no side to side play it's the fit and finish on this is absolutely amazing i don't know if you can see but he's got his little stamp that says Linden on the very back. But I'm going to compare these two tailpieces to the original tailpiece that came on my gold tone. Now, don't take me wrong, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this tailpiece. I absolutely love it. This is one of my favorite tailpieces, especially for a 12 inch rim banjo. But the advantage that these tail pieces offer in being able to fine tune your downward pressure on the bridge across each string individually, it really helps bring out the best quality of tone that you can, um, especially where I play in a lot of different tunings. You can just quickly change the downward pressure of each string in between tunings. So. We'll get right down to it. This is the original gold tone vintage style tailpiece. And we'll see what this sounds like. This is the old brass Ottinger, and this is what it sounds like.
this is the bespoke Ottinger, and this is what it sounds like. <laughs> Now I'll kind of give you my two cents regarding the tone of these two tailpieces. To my ear, the brass one sounds bassy, but it lacks uh, a certain note finish. Uh, I guess you could call a shimmer. Um, now this nickel silver one from Ottinger Co. It it has both the increased bass that this Ottinger does, but it also has a, a clarity that this one lacks. This one wasn't as powerful on the the trebles, but the bespoke one, it, it packs a punch both with bass and with the treble. And as I mentioned, I really like the way that the bespoke is fully symmetrical instead of having those little knobs that come off of the the fingers for the strings to go in he's kind of improved the the little channels there at the end now i'll kind of show you how these things work so there's these screws on the very end here that are attached to these L arms or fingers, brackets, whatever you want to call them. You can turn this and it will actually change the downward pressure of that string. You can bring it back up. Now you can do that on all five strings individually and that really helps dial your banjo in for different string gauges, uh, especially if you change tunings a lot. There's, there's just a particular brake angle that particular gauge strings like to roll off of the back of that bridge. And with a traditional stationary tailpiece, you can't really fine adjust that. Um, fine tune it. I don't want to call it fine tune because technically you could use this to fine tune but that's not really what it's designed for. Um, it's not like fiddle fine tuners. I've heard a lot of people ask that if, if these screws are for fine tuning and the, the answer is yes but not frequency tuning and it's for tuning in that downward pressure on your bridge. Um, this is a very nice tailpiece and like I said the fit and finish on this thing is absolutely amazing. Um, it is top quality. Um, the tolerances on the machining and the overall fit of the fingers and everything is just phenomenal. The knurling on the screws is nice and clean. Um, one of the best tail pieces I've ever had. Don't get me wrong, I like this old Ottinger, but it'll probably get put up and saved because you can't hardly find these old ones anymore and a good friend of mine gifted this to me, so it'll be staying right here. But as far as Ottinger tail pieces go, Linden Bespoke really has these things down. And I mentioned earlier in the video, they are very similar dimensionally. Um, 
The only difference dimensionally that I've found is the spacing of these fingers is maybe a little bit wider by a sixteenth of an inch versus this one. But that is the Ottinger tailpiece. I strongly urge y'all to try one of Lyndon's tailpieces. They're expensive, but they're worth it. Um, they are worth every penny. They are a tailpiece that you will cherish forever. Just the amount of work that goes into to making these things. I could only imagine doing work like that. You should definitely check them out. I'll include his website in the description of this video. Y'all have a good one.